All right, Spirit, what do we have for my Leo Collective? Clear intuitive messages, please, for Leo Collective. Leo All Placements. All Leo Placements. Okay, first card we got is on the table. We got relationships and then we have independence. So there is somebody who is um, basically, I'm here drawing a, drawing a line in the sand. So, I'm just getting this energy where some of y'all could be de demanding something from somebody, or you could be giving them like an ultimatum, like you could be saying, well, if you don't do this, then I'm going to do that. It could be something like that. Um, some of you guys, this could be at, at your work. Maybe you could be telling somebody, some of y'all could be giving somebody a notice that you are getting ready to walk away from your job. I am getting that energy. Maybe you have... Uh, um, a new job on the table for you, Leo. I am getting that for some of you guys. The rest of you guys, if it's not at work, it could be a relationship. Maybe you could be allowing somebody to know that you're getting ready to walk away if they don't change. Or it could be something like that. But I am getting this energy where you guys could be... Um, I'm also getting this energy where somebody could be demanding some form of respect from an individual. If it's not work or relationship, somebody could be like demanding respect from somebody in a family or it could be romantic love or it could be a child. But um, I'm just getting this boundary set in, in regards of people or a position. Maybe you are set some form of a limit, Leo. But it is telling me that some of you guys do the most. Like, you guys do a lot for somebody. Or, you, what, like I said, work or relationship. I'm looking at it both ways. In work or relationship, you do a lot for somebody. You even cook somebody a meal. Some of y'all doing all doing the most for somebody that's not even that you're not even officially in a connection with. Now, this could be the opposite. If this is not you, Leo, it could be somebody else doing this. Maybe they are doing the most for you, but maybe you already in a relationship with somebody, with somebody else. Or y'all not official. Y'all take what resonates. But somebody is demanding something. A relationship or respect from, a, from a, specific, a specific person. Or it could be telling somebody, warning somebody, they're getting ready to walk away. If I don't get a raise, if I don't get a promotion. It could be something like that. If not a notice, but I am seeing that some of you guys I'm hearing are venturing out on your own and creating your own. Some of you guys are leaving a, like a nine to five. We don't have to be technically nine to five, right? You could be just be leaving a job and, and going into straight business mode. Like you could be starting your own business, Leo. But it is telling me that somebody could be stepping outside of their comfort zone, whether they are stepping away from a relationship and becoming single or whether they are stepping out a um a job and starting their own business or they could be leaving a job and going to another job y'all just take what resonates but somebody is dealing with something or a company or someone and they're freeing themselves from that situation or that job or environment okay what else do we have spirit What else do we have? Clear intuitive messages, please. Somebody could be a server. Maybe somebody have a maybe somebody do that for work. Could be a server, a waiter, a waitress. Or you could work in the food service department. I'm here in dining area. Somebody could be working a dining area at a restaurant. Like for an example, you could view like um old country buffet or like a buffet or something or it could be like golden corral or um something like that if not somebody could be like a cook maybe somebody could be a cook at a yeah at a workplace somebody could be a caterer maybe somebody bake cakes cookies pies um 
but whatever you do, it could have something to do with food. If you are, if this is your job title, somebody's job title could be food since food, food service. Um, or, um, like I said, maybe somebody bake pies and cookies and stuff for a living. Um, I'm also seeing somebody could, um, here in decor, like somebody could, could design people's houses for a living. I don't even know the name of it. Like you could like be the person to come in and fix somebody's house up the way they want it. Or, you know, you could be paid to, to fix up somebody's house, like design somebody's house a certain way. Um, some, I'm here a party planner. Somebody could be a party planner or you could be a party promoter. Is that the same thing? I don't know. That's exactly what I heard. But I'm just also getting this energy where there is a woman or it could be a man that comes to like people weddings or parties and like cook for them or they either decorate. It's one or the other or both. Or it can be some, like I said, somebody's home or I don't know. I'm picking up for that for um that energy for somebody, not everybody. But um somebody has built some form of a bond where they was at and I'm just getting this comfort zone. Like somebody has gotten very comfortable where they got and now they're getting ready to branch off somewhere else and start their own like catering business or their own you know what I'm saying? Type of um business. I'm here an independent contract or something. But we got the Knight of Wands reversed. We got the Chariot reversed. And then we got the World reversed. So somebody could definitely be laying it all out on the table that something is about to be put to a stop. Something is about to be put to an end. And maybe you, you, you have just been back and forth thinking about this, Leo. Excuse me, but... I am getting that energy where you just don't want to like make the wrong move or you just don't want to like do do something out of impulse. That's the energy that I'm picking up on in regards of the decision that you have made, um, Leo. But somebody is letting somebody demanding or they letting somebody know that if they don't do this or if you don't get that, they're going to be up out of here. Because some of you guys feel weighed down. Some of you guys feel like where you at, person. Um, job placement or relationship or friendship, whatever. Like I said, you feel like it's not getting any better. Maybe you feel like you're just not getting that raise. Maybe you feel like you're not getting that promotion. Maybe you feel like you're not, nobody not stepping their game up, like your your person you're in a relationship with. Maybe you feel like you're not stepping their game up in regards of spicing up your relationship. Like you, you feel like something is lacking. Some of you guys feel like there is something that is lacking in your life, Leo. And um, you just feel weighed down. You feel slowed down. You just don't feel like you see any results on whatever it is that you are doing. But I'm hearing somebody's relationship or work situation is not getting any better. If this is a job or a company you work for, Leo, I feel like you have gotten like, like you really know these people. Like there is some type of bond, Leo, like. You have been very loyal to these people, right? Especially if you work for, for somebody, but you just feel like they won't give you any no credit. Some of y'all feel like where you work at, they just don't give you no credit. You don't, you don't some of y'all can't even get a thank you, but you just feel like you're doing the most for your money. Some of you guys, like you're doing the most and getting the less for your, that's what I meant to say, you're doing the most and getting the less. But I'm hearing you don't want to settle for less. You are ready to break ties with people you work for, or you could be ready to break ties with a company, um, or you could just be ready to break ties with a relationship. Look, no reward. You're not being rewarded. Some of you guys feel like y'all need to go, I'm hearing, and do independent work. Like I'm hearing independent contracts. Some of y'all, maybe you were thinking about doing a side hustle. Maybe you're thinking about leaving that situation, that work or that job to, um, to do like a side thing or something, but even no matter where you at and who you're dealing with, you just feel like you're not gaining anything. You see what I'm saying? Especially with the chariot reverse and the world reverse. This is like the, there's no progress. You feel like there's no reward. Like there's no gain. But at the same time, some of y'all, there could be somebody that still want to hold on to you. Some of you guys, there's somebody that still wants to hold on to you, especially if this is a relationship. 
any type of relationship. Like I said, some of y'all could be like working for other people and stuff, like going to people's houses and like I said, decorating their houses or cooking for them. Maybe you could be a cook. You go to decor, um, cook for people that's at weddings, parties, celebrations. I'm getting celebrations. I heard celebrations for somebody. But you just feel like maybe you're looking for a tip or you're looking for some like some type of um congratulations, right? You just want to feel appreciated where you at, Leo. You know what I'm saying? You're looking for some type of effort. You're looking for some type of progress. You're looking for a level up, Leo, whether this is a level up and being promoted or getting a raise or um being valued. I, I strongly feel like a lot of y'all, y'all just want that value of what it is that you bring because you bring value, right? Whether this is a relationship or work or business, and you want the same back in return. I'm hearing value. I'm hearing of quality. You want quality. Like, if you're going to present quality work for somebody, I feel like you feel like you deserve to get quality benefits. And that's understandable because I am getting that energy. Um, somebody could be like, I'm hearing branch off. Some of you guys could be like wanting to branch off and go like out of town or something and, 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 and make business moves and make a lot of money. I don't know why I'm getting that, but somebody trying to hold you back. Some of y'all feel like y'all pay went low. Like y'all pay went, like y'all getting paid. Like, I don't know why I'm hearing less of a pay. Just get that thing. It's so time this flimsy card. We got lovers. So you got a lot of decisions to make, Leo. Cause some of y'all could be like putting it off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Some of you guys could be putting it off. Some of you guys are putting it off because maybe something happened to um I don't know, maybe something happened to some ideal or something. And maybe it stopped you from traveling or going to somebody's destination like i said especially if you go to people's house and do things for them or if you have a job but i feel like there's something for somebody i'm pointing it out for somebody that somebody um just can't leave yet because um something happened i don't know with somebody's car somebody's truck and maybe there could be some form of delay in wherever it is that you want to go, Leo. Especially if you want to branch off and start a new career or work for somebody else or whatever. Some of y'all could be having car troubles, troubles or there could be like delay in your flight if you are getting on a plane or, or something like that. There could be some form of delay. Not everybody. Something has been slowed down. And maybe you got to come out of your pocket. Some of y'all feel like y'all have to come out of your pocket about something. Like I said, it could be a vehicle or it could be a flight. Maybe you missed your flight. I don't know. I'm getting that for somebody. Because I'm hearing not yet. It's like the minute you decide to break free from something or an environment, something bad happened. And I'm not saying in a bad way, but I'm just saying like, it's like the devil trying to stop you from branching off, Leo. I'm hearing exploring your horizons. I'm hearing to... Um, Get where you want to go to make progress in your life. But I'm hearing the devil is like, I don't know. I just feel like it's like soon as you break free from a, an environment, right? Or a relationship, it's like something like pushed you back, hold you back. And like I said, it could be something simple as like your car broke down or you missed your flight or it could be something like that. But it's telling me that you you got other options. We got the moon reverse. We got the eight of swords. Telling me things gonna come together regardless. Some of y'all, if this is a relationship, some of y'all definitely did leave somebody, right? And um, or you tempted to leave because they wanted you to stay. But maybe you felt like it still was staying the same. Some of you guys felt like the relationship still was stagnated, Leo. And um, but at the same time, they want to hold on to you. Some of you guys, this person think that love making is going to make you stay. But it's telling me that if this is love, we're looking at it as a love standpoint. I feel like some of you guys are 
seeing right through this person and you just it's, this person could be leaving you conflicted and stuck it's like even though you see this person for who they really is leo it's like you just don't know what to do because some of you guys like y'all got somebody in love that when it comes to love that don't want to let you go but at the same time they're not making the effort to show you that they care about you to show you that they value leo like i like i say i feel like y'all want quality treatment for your own work you know what i'm saying even if you felt like you had to put up with somebody's bs for so long and you keep taking them back you still feel like you deserve something you know what i'm saying like some of y'all feel like y'all deserve some type of gift or like i said treat it like like a, a queen or treat it like a king you know what i'm saying you want to know you need some reassurance leo a lot of y'all y'all could be looking for reassurance no matter where you at to know that you are valued and to know that your hard work is not being noticed. It doesn't matter where you at and who you with. I feel like that's what you're looking for. You just want to feel special. You just want to feel valued. You just want to feel wanted. You just want to feel appreciated. You see what I'm saying? That's exactly what the spread is telling me in this situation. I feel like that's what you want. You need some type of care. You just want people to know that they care about you, Leo. That's all. Because you care about them especially if it's love especially if you've been working for somebody like i said some of y'all go to, excuse me some of y'all go from house to house i'm hearing i'm getting this person that's like walking people houses and do stuff for them like i said whether you could be somebody's cook whether you could be a chef whether you could be somebody who bake i'm hearing baker like you bake cakes and pies for people for celebrations you could be some form of promoter or something for other people you could be decorating houses for a living some of you guys if it's at work like i said you could be like a waiter a waitress a server i don't know why i'm getting that type of work you know what i'm saying but you still want to feel valued. You still want to feel appreciated. Some of y'all feel like y'all ain't getting no tips. If you, if you a housekeeper or you a waiter or a waitress, or, um, or a waitress, some of you guys feel like y'all not getting no tips where y'all at. Y'all just felt like people are being stingy with their money. You know what I'm saying? It's like, dang, I'm doing all of this for this little bit of money. You know what I'm saying? Or can I feel appreciated or something? Like I'm giving y'all quality work. I'm giving y'all quality services. You know what I'm saying? Like, can I get a tip? Can I get a raise? Can I get a a, a can clap or something? You know what I'm saying? Y'all looking for that type of thing. Y'all looking for reassurance to know that you are appreciated, Leo. And I don't blame y'all because if y'all presenting quality work, you should get something, right? But in love also, like this applies to love too. So like I said, y'all just take what resonates, Leo, because I feel like a lot of y'all just want to feel appreciated. You know what I'm saying? And... It's like you're doing the most and getting less. I'm hearing show me something. Show me you care. That's exactly what I heard. Okay. We got ethics. We got Simplify. These cards barely come out. We got Change. Yeah, I just felt like some people could just be stuck in their ways, Leo. Somebody could be very much stuck in their ways or um, how they view you in a way. Somebody could be stuck in their ways or they view you a certain way. They're trying to make it seem like your quality work is just something very simple. But I'm hearing something got to give. Something got to give. Something has to give, Leo. That's all I keep hearing. Something has to give. But let's clarify. got the high priestess so something is getting ready to come to the light leo something is getting ready to be known we got the king of pentacles reversed and then we got the seven of pentacles yep 
Y'all dealing with people who are very simply selfish, maybe even greedy. But I feel like somebody is getting ready to make some changes and invest into themselves, Leo. Some of y'all, even if you add a job that you don't like, Leo, I feel like you're just going to continue to stack up your coin and then you're just going to leave. Some of y'all, especially if you want to start your own business or you want to have an opportunity elsewhere where you feel valued and appreciated. You see what I'm saying? Some of you guys. You just want to treat, you just want to feel treated, like you just want to be fair, you know, I'm here to be treated fair. Some of you guys could be feeling like you could be in a, like a, um, how can I say this? I'm hearing a, I don't know if I can say this on YouTube. Y'all know what it is, black and white. Some of you guys feel like you are being, I can't even, I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> Some of you guys feel like, like, you could be black, and the people that you work with, maybe you feel like they treating you like dirt because of the color of your skin. You know what I'm saying? It could be something like that. I'm getting that for somebody. You just feel like where you at, you're not being treated fair. You know what I'm saying? You feel like there's no justice. You feel like people are pretty much judging you based on who you are as an individual and not what type of work that you bring to the table. You see what I'm saying? It could be something like that. But some of y'all could work for like a facility where there's a lot of um racism or something going on. I don't know. But so I'm here in healthcare. Some of you guys could be in the healthcare field. Maybe you go into people's houses and take care of like sick people or disabled people, like older like um adults. And the people that they send you to, maybe they could be very like, you already know. I don't want to say it. But some of y'all feel like y'all not being treated fair and getting paid for how much that you feel like you deserve, Leo, and you bring that quality work. It's like they try to treat you like you were regular. You see what I'm saying? They're not nice people. Some people are just selfish, greedy. I'm hearing money hungry. But y'all about to make some changes, Leo. It's going to take a minute, but you're going to get there. No matter if you do stay. Excuse me, I keep burping. No matter if you do stay and build up your coin and get up out of there, or things are going to like gradually like start to build up for you over a period of time. I'm seeing that for somebody. But some of y'all could be dealing with people like that. That could be pretty much in that type of area. Maybe it could be your own people. Sometimes it is your own people that is you know, against you, you know, it's because it's like some people just don't want to see you doing good, some people just don't want to see you doing better than them, Leo, you know, but I'm here, a lot of y'all just overqualified, a lot of y'all are very much overqualified, and they know this, they know this, that's why you need to just get yourself and remove yourself from wherever you at, whether this is a relationship or a, um, a job thing, and go go where you're appreciated. Some of y'all need to go where y'all appreciated. Because y'all are some of y'all are very overqualified. You're not getting paid for or being respected and treated as such because you are, like I said, a certain you already know, or um they just look at you as a regular. You know, it's sad to say because that's exactly what I'm seeing in this red. I ain't never picked up on this energy before. But I hope I said it the right way, because I ain't trying to offend nobody. We got the will of fortune. But the truth is the truth, and it will set you free. And we got the Four of Cups reversed. So we got the Six of Pentacles. So it's telling me that whatever you see these people doing to you, Leo, or whatever it is that they were trying to, like, I don't know why, but I'm hearing some people just didn't want you to be noticed. Some people just didn't want you, they wanted you to, they wanted you to be kept to themselves, but it's like they didn't want other people to see you. You see what I'm saying? And, um, but... I just felt like you about to come out of the dark. If you feel like you wasn't noticed at your work or your relationship, or it could even be on social media somewhere, right? Even if you have a social media, um, even if you're a YouTuber like me, or you have like a, um, like businesses on social media, like on Instagram, TikTok, um, Facebook, or YouTube, I feel like you're going to go from being unnoticed to being noticed because there could be a favorable outcome coming in for you, period. You know, but it's telling me that 
this favorable outcome, it's not, it's going to, you're going to remain very humble. I'm here, very humble, very unbothered. And you're going to get, it's like you, you will be supported regardless. Like, I don't know why, because some of y'all are going to be like uh, from unnoticed and unheard, unseen and devalued to being valued and blessed. You see what I'm saying, Leo? Because we got the Four of Cups. Something is that was once stuck is getting unstuck. Because Four of Cups upright is like somebody being stuck, you know, about an opportunity, about whether they should stay or should go. Or it could be somebody could be stuck on whether they should stay in a relationship and move on. Or, you know what I'm saying? But it's reversed. So it's telling me that somebody's about to get unstuck and everything is about to go in somebody's way. Like literally, people going literally going to support you, Leo, where you don't even have to give nothing. You don't. It's going to naturally flow. Like the more you continue to, to remain unbothered, because it's also me unbothered, and you know what I'm saying. I just feel like the more things gonna start start to like naturally flow to you, Leo, and people are going to like be catering to you and give it to you and supporting you in in a way, shape or form. You see what I'm saying? Because I am getting that energy. It has been a long wait for your hard work because you have been building up. You know, you have been, I'm hearing y'all skills, like y'all have been bettering y'all skills. I'm here mastering y'all skills, because I think sevens are, is sevens about mastery? Yes, yeah, sevens are mastery. Yes, yeah, sevens are very, like, a mastery number. It's about spirituality, mystery, mastery, wisdom, you know, being successful, gaining some form of insight. So, Sevens is always telling me that y'all have mastered a craft of yours. You have mastered a skill. Some of you guys have mastered financial literacy. Like, maybe you have been working really hard and trying to make changes with your money and growing wealth. Some of you guys could be like, I'm here reading books. And if not, could just be saying that you've been saving up your coin. And then you finally get what it is that you have worked really, really hard for. Plus, people are going to want to support you. If you felt unnoticed at your workplace, Leo, you will have things like naturally happen for you in a really amazing way and it's all because you took your energy back leo it's all because you held withheld your energy back leo you see what i'm saying it's like the minute you want to give up and you know break free from something it's like everything starts to like unfold for you look i knew it we got the eight of wands this is like good news leo because you pulled your energy back you got things naturally coming at you all at once look queen of wands i love this energy some of you guys Something is about to take off at your work, your your um your business. I mean, you guys, if you have like a business, it's about to take off, literally. But I'm telling you, you could be looking like you could be switching some things up and, and looking a lot more attractive. I'm hearing, and it's wanting people to like you falling back. It's wanting people to like literally like be all about you, Leo. People wanting you, Leo, because that is attractive. You falling back. And not being in a spotlight all the time and not looking for attention or not looking for reassurance and not looking for all of that. I'm telling you, things are going to naturally unfold for you, Leo. And that's how spirit is going to be working with you. All you got to do is pump your brakes, take a step back, and continue to do what you need to do. And then that's when people are going to give you what you want. You see what I'm saying? Things are going to start to work in your favor. Don't put no pressure on yourself. Don't put no pressure on other people about what it is that you want. Just fall back and be a king or the queen that you are. That's all you have to do is fall back. Fall back and be the king or the queen that you are and things will start happening for you. Oh, this is mean good news coming for you like your way. Like nothing but good things coming your way, Leo. But it's telling me because you pulled your energy back and these people, you know what I'm saying? It, it looks attractive. Pulling your energy back is going to bring the opportunities to you, Leo. It, it really is and it's going to like boost you up a little bit whether it boosts your ego or whether it make you happy or whether it boosts your income i'm hearing something is going to boost your income leo some of y'all could have an online business also i think i already said that but if you was worried about people not buying your um your product or people are not donating to you or people are not noticing you or you know stuff like that just know that Falling back is the way to be. Falling back is going to boost your income. Falling back is going to get people to notice you. You see what I'm saying? Because like I said, a lot of y'all overqualify. And some people try to dim your light. Some people didn't want to see you win. But, you know, just stop complaining and allow spirit to take the lead. Because that's exactly what's going to happen. Like, the minute you give up, the minute you just don't care no more and continue to do what you got to do every day. Listen, you, you're naturally going to attract people that is willing to help you and support you, Leo, or, or give you that reassurance that you are looking for, you know, to, to let you know that you are very much appreciated. But 
I'm here overqualified. Like people knew, these people knew that you were very much overqualified. No matter what position you was in, no matter what relationship you was in, you know, they knew you were overqualified, but just know that you are going to gain something back in the situation. Something is going in your favor. Something is going in your favor. It's because of you ignoring people. You ignoring things that you felt you was not getting. But I'm hearing it's all within the flow of things. Look, travel. Did I say somebody could work online or maybe you travel for a living? Some of you guys could be traveling for a living and still, you know, pregnant. I'm getting that also. Some of you guys could be, I'm hearing housekeepers while you're pregnant. Or if not, you could be a nurse while you're pregnant. Maybe you're a traveling nurse or maybe you travel for a living. Maybe you could be like a truck driver or something. Men or women, because men, women, they could be truck drivers too. I'm here, contractor. Somebody could be, somebody travel for a living. Some of y'all could just be single parents, single moms, or single dads. And maybe you feel like you, you have to work really, really hard in order to get something that you really want, Leah. But um, I am getting this energy where something is coming, something from a distance is coming to you or getting ready to end. Something going in your favor, and it has to do with travel or online. Yep, you're going to get your answer. Something is being answered. An ending of something or someone is getting ready to be answered. Like something is getting ready to be known. I'm hearing some of you guys going to take you to end something in order to get what you are looking for. There could be somebody coming towards you, Leo, from a distance that has something to say to you. Oh, this could be somebody in spirit. It don't have to be an animal. It can be a woman in spirit. Maybe you're going to get your answers from your intuition. Some of you guys, your answers or your um, ancestors, your spirit guides or your angels could be answering something. I'm here answering the call. That's exactly what I heard. This is a time for you to be to yourself, Leo. And I'm hearing be stingy. Didn't I say all it takes for you to pull back your energy? Even if you're mad. This person looks mad. Even if you are somebody who is holding a little bit of resentment, right? I just felt like y'all just need to uh, cool off. Some of y'all could be too upset and then y'all feeling. Some of you guys could just be needed to fall back and cool off and be about yourself. That's all spirit wants you to do is pull back your energy and cool off, Leo. Yes, there is people that is very much deceptive behind you and they don't want to see you win and they don't, you know, they just, some of y'all are working for mean people, but it's telling me I'm here to hold tight because your happiness is right here. Spirit is saying, don't leave yet. If you felt like giving up on a career or relationship, spirit is saying, hold tight because your happiness is here. This is your purpose. This is your purpose. No more watering dead plants. This is your purpose. Some of y'all are meant to be in a relationship where you felt like somebody was being stingy. They wasn't doing anything for you or they wasn't taking you anywhere. That all about to change. Y'all relationship about to change with somebody, Leo, after you felt like it wasn't moving. It wasn't progressing, Leo. But just know that somebody was being stingy and somebody wasn't really catering to you or whatever, you know, acting like a provider is because they was too busy stacking up their money so they can give you what you want. So it was never their intentions to not give you what you want. I feel like they were saving up their money to do something for you, Leo, whatever that. Some of you guys, there was somebody saving up their money to give you a gift. Like somebody wanted to spoil you. That's the reason why you wasn't seeing no progress in your relationship. If some of you guys, if you felt like your relationship was not, like I said, like it was slowed down, Leo, I feel like it wasn't even what you thought it was. It wasn't even a simple fact that your person didn't want to do anything for you. It's a simple fact that they did, but they were saving up their money. So expect some changes within your relationship, Leo. Somebody is going to be all about you. Somebody is going to cater to you. You know, this person ain't going to want nothing from you. They're going to spoil you. Somebody is about to spoil you, Leo. This is going in your favor. This is going in your favor. This is telling me there's nothing to miss because that means you're staying. Some of you guys are staying. There's nothing to miss because, listen, they about to spoil you. I'm here highly favored. 
But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, Leo. I hope it resonates with you guys. And y'all take care.